What up guys? Today we'll be making a nice awesome underwater scene like so. I know you like my fishies um, but it's just some water underwater scene add some light rays some particles within the light rays some fishies this thing I don't know why it rendered weird like this but it doesn't look like that in the project looks all crisp there so we'll make that and um, I'll just say that the water here is this was all made in After Effects but you might not have the red giant plugin tsunami so you can't make the nice looking water you might be able to you, I know you can if you go to the link I have in the description you can make some water with just fractal noise like that and then you could just push it up in the comp and then it'll so you're look so it's underneath it so you're looking from underneath and you can just follow this tour to make that water all in after effects or you could go keep hd.com just youtube search underwater hd so it looks nice and then you can uh get s an underwater scene i just found some random guy you can see the light rays come from the bright spots in the water and the light rays just follow throughout all the bright parts they can like they're in right there so you can follow along with this tutorial no matter what you do or you can like yeah this is <laughs> I didn't really try to follow that tutorial I kind of just remembered what I from watching it a while back you can kind of get the same effect but I'm sure if you've actually followed the tor tutorial you can get some nice looking water with uh, Aaron Rabinowitz's tutorial on how to make water alright but anyway I'll just get rid of these this one my fishy and we will make this light rays coming out of the hot spots out of the water particles coming in through just the parts of the light rays this atmospheric look is what I'm calling it um, fishies and that's pretty much it. It's all animated and it all looks fancy. So we will get to that. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff. I was just there to show you. Water. And. Yeah, but if you want to go to Red Giant Tsunami, you can get the trial. And you could. Uh, just, it's just a preset that says underwater. Click on that hit OK and the plugin and then you can just adjust the camera to where you want this is what I had the, the file I rendered it out so it would uh, play back easy because it renders like a bitch in there so this is just footage rendered out from it I'd probably do that with all the other things like the fracking noise I'd render it out then I'd do this effect to it if you wanted to add it so alright let's get to this first thing I'm gonna do is just add a Let's get everything ready. Linear wipe. Put that to the top. Gonna make a mask. Don't want to. And feather it. Just so it has a point where it ends. I can control easier than a mask, so that's why I do that. Alright. Then I'm going to duplicate the footage. Actually, I don't know why I didn't do that first, so I'll delete the linear wipe from the top. And now we're going to make a mat where that will just affect the hot spots in the top. So we will add, I'm just going to turn this bottom layer off. And we'll add an effect called Colorama. Also good for making sky replacements the same way. So you can always say it's isolating all the white spots pretty good. But we just want to make it to a gray scale. Ramp gray and we'll add a point right here, doesn't really matter, just make it white somewhere over here, make it black and then we're just going to bring the black in and just crush it until we get just the parts we want right there. So now it's just animating to the spots in the video that are white. Now it's still, if you click on this you can see it's still black, we need to make it transparent. So I'll just duplicate that with the colorama and on the bottom one, just make a track mat, a uh, luma mat. And you can see it's just the white spots. 
And when you're doing it with like the, if you're doing a download a YouTube video, like I said, and it, you do this, it's going to be like, you might get some weird edges like that's black there. So you could, if you want to make sure it's getting everything, you could add a, not a fill, a fill, and then just change this to white. That way you know it's pure white. So optional. And now we're just going to pre-compose these two so it thinks of it as a, just one video to say it and make sure it's move all attributes it shouldn't give you another option but just in case it does we'll just call it water mat so now that's just one file you can turn the video on below it and you can see it follows it wherever that goes all right cool and now we'll make the light rays come in from it actually let's make a background so Layer, new, solid, comp size. Go to the bottom, name it, name it BG, background, and add a ramp to that. And we'll make this just, make this the same color as that. Make the bottom end color black. We'll click on it, and then we'll, uh, why does it give me the points? There we go. They're hiding. Command Shift H to hide those things if they're not showing up. Uh, we'll move this down, maybe. No, we'll move this bottom one down. Uh, that's blending, all right. We'll go with it. All right. All right, now let's make the light rays. So on the mat layer that we named with just the white spot, we'll add a fractal noise. Yeah. Fractal noise. All right. And then we'll just bring up the contrast, or brightness, maybe just a little bit. And then we'll add a fact blur and sharpen cc radial blur and we'll change this to ch -ch -ch straight zoom turn that up and then we'll take the center point oh, and then move it all the way to the top and i guess just to the left a little bit all right yeah Yeah, yeah, it's optional for the fractal, uh, fractal noise. I just, maybe you want to get some variation within the variation of it. It's optional, so you can either, you can even animate this, so it changes if it's like a still shot, but it's already animating, and because of the white spot, so whatever you want, it's all good. And then I'll add a curves to it maybe then you could just adjust it you can tint it to the color you want just gonna bring the red up bring the green up and we'll bring it there and then just add a Hue and saturation, lower that down. So now we get these little light rays coming from the white spots. It's taking forever to render because I have all this other stuff open, I'm assuming. All right, now we need to make particles that only go inside of them. So we'll add a layer, new, I'm trying to remember what time I started. I think I have to end in six minutes. All right, so comp size, and I'll try to keep this in After Effects. So we'll add a. I'll just search for it. Not particular, just protect CC particle world. That looks awesome. We'll just go to the guides, turn all the stuff off. 
thread and I uh, will make this last the uh, duration of the comp at least and we'll start at like one at the beginning is that a keyframe and then like a few seconds in I'm just going to bring it down to like 0.4 so it's not as many at the end and in the producer well first we'll go to the physics and we'll set the velocity down gravity to zero so yeah now we got this going on and we want it to be pushing out right away so we'll move this back a little in time and I'm gonna just turn this down to half and I'm just gonna solo it bring it out alright and let's see maybe less velocity so we want to start there where there's already far out yep and we'll move it and then we'll change it to no explosion go to the particle settings change it to dark and faded sway sphere yeah sphere there we go and just change the color to you know, blue and uh, slightly darker blue maybe it's looking all right and da, da, da. It's looking all right producer let's just stretch it out a little z space who knows all right so that's looking all right now we just need to we'll adjust it so it looks a little bit better later but we want to adjust the effect inside the rays so ch -ch -ch. particles move that down beneath not, not below the footage ch -ch -ch. all right All right, duplicate your, we'll name this uh, light rays 2, because I think I have another one. Particles, we'll duplicate this. And then we'll set the track mat to alpha inverted. Nope. Alpha mat. So now they're just inside the light rays, but you can't really see them. So let's see, let's see if we go to our... Uh, light rays to mat. Let's change this to light rays to back. Okay. And in the light rays mat, maybe go to the curves, go to the alpha, and crank that up. That way they're a little brighter. I think they're a little too big, so in the particles, particle settings. I'm gonna just lower it and I'm going to add a fast blur to that repeat ex edge pixels just a little bit that way they're a little more fady and you can see that they just fall within the light rays and the light rays follow only within the light. So pretty cool effect right there. But we will finish the rest in the next part. I will see you there.